So today I want to have a look around some of the Eldis caravans. Now, I'll be the first to admit I don't know a great deal about Eldis. Because um, <clears throat> another one like Swift, they have so many different models that it's hard, unless you kind of own one and you're really into it, or unless you're a caravan vlogger. No, wait, I should know, I know I should know about these. But let's have a look at the, um, <clears throat> so first of all, let's go to the Compass Casita. Casita. Honestly, caravan, com caravan companies do come up with some names, don't they? If you want to pause that to check out all the, I just ran over from the car park, right? So I'm a bit out of breath. Anyway, let's have a little look around. This is quality caravan vlogging. Right, so this is a island, um, a French bed, isn't it? A French bed. Interested to see how different caravan manufacturers go about um, finding solutions to problems. Now, a lot of them do very similar things, don't they? I just noticed here that internal um, aerial connections there and a plug socket, 12 volt as well. Um, tucked out of the way, it's quite nicely tucked out of the way. Um, <clears throat> shelf here, similar to the challenge that we have. Speakers, smaller um, skylight at the front. Nice, I like the bright, um, Nice wide unit there. No, that's three. Again, I'll, I'll always compare stuff to the Challenger because that's what we've got. And so, you know, um, I always have a look at them yourself if you're interested in buying one. But I'll give you an overview. I like those LED. I like those lights. A bit different from the Swift again. Dometic fridge with locks on. A different arrangement for the shower there with the door and bunk beds and good luck getting a good night's sleep there with the kids to sleep in there. Interesting with these French beds, um, if you have a look at um, Bob Earnshaw's latest vlog, I'll put a link in the description, but he was talking to an inventor of um, a little gadget that goes in here, slides under there and just squares the bed off. Like I say, a link in the description. Toilet there. I mean, who reviews a van that they can't pronounce? Casita. So that was a six berth, twin axle, eight foot wide. Yeah, you could tell, definitely tell it was an eight foot wide one there. Um, now there's no point in me going in every single Casita, but there's a 550 single axle island bed. So going back to the uh, 868 that I just went in, that's 31,849. So I always think delivery charge is a bit of a cheek. New cars do that as well. Right, here's the compass. But again, these are all around the 30,000 mark. Single axle. Again, just get an idea of the finish. I do like the light interior. I know people with kids and dogs, maybe not the best, but I like it as a, it makes it very bright in here. See, I'm a big fan of island beds, rear island beds, and not a lot of people, well, not everybody is, but I am. Again, I'll have to check if this is an eight foot wide, I don't know. I think it is, it feels wider. Again, separate, um, separated toilet and, and shower, which is good for a family. And then the island bed, which pulls out obviously, this is in day mode, so you get a lot of room, and at night pull it out. I must learn to pan slower. 
See, really nice. I do like that really nice long skylight there. Microwave above the cooker. That always makes me, always makes me a bit nervous. Taking stuff out of the microwave. You know, maybe get one of those. Um, maybe get one of those IKEA chopping boards that were all the crazy a little while ago. Might protect. Not that. Does anything fall out of the microwave? Possibly if I'm doing it. So single axle four berths. Capri. Capiro, Capiro, 550. Now I won't go in every single version of the same caravan because you get an idea of the finish. They're just different layouts. Uh, again, 31,000. Uh, I said, uh, maybe I mentioned yesterday, when I was at the Swift stand, um, they, these, <laughs> now this is uh, by the by, but these things here, they're little kind of like iPad things, so during the night they take them all out. So when you come in, first thing, they don't have them out. So I mean, what's, it's just technology gone mad, and they just use a laminated backlit piece of paper. Come on, Swift. My favourite subject, the rear of caravans. <laughs> rear caravan vlogger. No, that's not right. Um, they're not too bad. Some, some of them, some of them do look a bit like trucks, in my opinion. Ooh, got, I've got a light out there. See, they're bulbs. By the looks of it. Well, maybe they're LEDs. Got a problem with one of your lights, mate. So they're the compass. There's a couple of compasses. Compai. Hmm, that's a slightly better back there. Camino. They're, at, they're actually bulbs. See, this is the, another thing you get with different ranges of caravans, uh, depending on how much you want to spend. But this one here with the grey sides, which is the Compass Camino, Camino 550, that it has bulbs at the back, not LED lights. Not a big thing, I know, but... Um, you know, it's just something to be aware of as you decide on which, you know, entry level, mid range, or top. I mean, I know it's mainly driven by budget, but you know, you need to know why it's more expensive or why it's less expensive. Nice big gas locker or front locker, even. I do like the little things like this light here. Maybe completely pointless, but I like it. But again, grey sides. Going in and out of fashion, I think maybe Coachman used to use it. I, I don't, I can't remember, but um, so again, this is a Camino, so it's a bit more 37,000. So, uh, total price oh, it's got um, 2,000 on the optional lever upholstery. These are really, I like these. The wow, um, easy slide, he says, breaking easy slide. Um, yeah, they're good. Them easy slide type things. They're not. You can you can upgrade. I did. I had a Bailey, and wow, actually sent me one to to review. <laughs> it's thirty five pounds. I'll have you know. Um, and I fitted it, and it works worked really well. Much better. Uh, the flap, flappy ones sometimes. They, you know, you forget to just push them in, and they when you're driving along. No no such problem with those. So this is the five fifty single axle. Grey sides. What do you think? A little look. Um, smaller Dometic fridge, straight away. Lever interior. Do you like lever interior? Um, smells nice. Wireless charging. So again, this is obviously a step up from the previous caravan that I showed you because it's got things like wireless charging. Nice little cubby holes there. No doors on. Um, our 
our Challenger has doors on there, um, which kind of awkward because they open a really weird way. Again, the old Eldis big skylight there. Island bed, rear wall, shower. I like the lights on the shower, up the rear of the thing. Um, Swift down at the top. Very snazzy. And again, the separate toilet, good for families. What's the old saying? The, the, uh, how long a minute? Uh, how long a minute takes depends on which side of the bathroom door you're on. So that was the Camino 550 at well a, a penny short a pound short a penny short of 35,000 six berth eight foot wide a lot of vans are reaching 40,000 now okay this so this is the 2023 winner of any large family caravan. What was that? Oh, design awards. Okay, let's have a look at the design then. Um, that's a bit odd. That's a kind of small window with this around it. It makes it more obvious that it's small, maybe. Um, cupboards. A different approach on how they work. See, they're very light, very light, which I don't know, I don't know about you, but light feels like um, not premium, heavy feels premium and good quality. However, it's not what you want in the caravan, I guess. So, you know, again, it's functional, very light doors. Go on for a while, so we'll receive all NEC emergency messages. All exhibitors, nice wardrobe. I'll carry on regardless. <laughs> for any items that should not be there, or for anything untoward. The shower's weird, it's kind of like that way, uh, it, so it's wider than it is deep. Um, interesting. If you ever wonder what these are for, he didn't have one for. It's for hanging towels on. But that, well, anyway, let's not point that out. Again, it's the island bed with the kids sleeping there. Um, and again, separate toilet. Ah, looks like you've got a curtain rail there. So you can at least block yourself off. A skylight is there and there. Good for ventilation, obviously. Do you know what I want? Again, that skylight. I like, I like that arrangement up there. It's got the extractor fan and then the skylight, which is really nice. So as a reminder, that's the Compass Camino 668, 40,000 pounds. You do get a lot of caravan, twin axle. Um, I'll just have a look at that again. Pause it if you want to read any of these stuff there. Only like that side, I think, to, so that you could fill your water up with a light on. They think of everything. Right, apologies for the quick stop on that vlog. Um, the problem is I've got Explore and the Buccaneer range to go, and the vlog was already, well, 14 minutes. So in part two, I will cover the rest of the range. Now, I know in the vlog, I kept 
referring to Eldis, even though I was looking at Compass Caravans, because they're all, to me, they're all Eldis, right? Even the Buccaneer. Now, I know they're all under a higher a higher power with Hymer. Erwin Hymer, is it? Uh, uh, they're all in the same group. So there's no need to comment that, oh, that weren't an Eldis, it was a Compass. I know, but doing it live, unscripted and waffling style, you sometimes, I sometimes call an Eldis a Compass or the other way around. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thumbs up if you did. Uh, remember to subscribe if you don't already because there'll be more uh, NEC content coming. I say NEC content, I mean caravan reviews. Um, so thumb up if you enjoyed it. If you missed the previous one, uh, that was um, a vlog on the Swift range. So I'll put a link up there. Or if I'm too lazy to just have a look at the channel and it's the video before this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. This is quality caravan vlogging.